Hey man, say man, it's your boy CJ the God, and you're not tuned with Amped Up Live. Shitting on them like a bathroom. I'ma teach them, I'ma make them learn a lesson like a classroom. Yeah. I put them over my knee and spray they edges like they dad do. These automatic sweeping niggas treat you like a janitor. I catch you in your dog and I pop you and catch your manager. Uh. Now, why you pass a double cup of raw? It boosts my stamina. Yeah. 400 D coming through, tell me who can handle yeah. I run a nigga down 30 round, you same boat, man. Trying to get the plug from poppers and them keys across the boat, man. Yeah. They just say I got the weight, man. I'm feeling like a boat, man. Uh. I'm just sticking to the script like a new church program. Damn, see this Thanksgiving being passed, you still go ahead. Still stepping on these niggas like some shoes I just broke. Still get the bag missing like I said, hocus pocus Still shoot my shot good, but I still got the focus Still pull up in the form of shipping, pass off in the focus Just whatever gotta do, you gotta do, just stay focused uh, Pop one, pop two, now the time rolling I'm so fucked up, can't keep my eyes open And I'm sipping on that lean and what I'm rolling still potent Bad bitch was just a fling, I used to use it for the throat, man Made a hundred off a bag and gave fifty to the dope, man I been flexing on these niggas too hard, I'm all hogan Blood yeah. in the back, came with that white, that lazy low So many white girls laying in the trap, I feel like snowman hey. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. I fucks with it. Big full shit, man. I rock with that. Okay, so what's up? It's your girl Antonia. We out here on Amped Up Live. We got CJ the God in the building. What's going on? What's, what's going good? on? Good. Carly, what's going oh, on? Crazy. Yeah, yeah, go crazy. We rocking with crazy. it. Y'all heard that track? Wow. Yeah, man. What inspired you to make that? Um, I w- that was hard. I ain't even gonna lie. I was actually um in the studio. Uh, I had an interview with uh, Cold Milk and uh, just chopping it up with him and DJ Real. Then, mm-hmm. um, I was like, man, I need another hit. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like something that's that's relevant, that's something that's going on. And then it just like the beat just kind of like took it from there. Like when I heard the beat, everybody was like listening to it on TikTok. Oh yeah. And then it was like. I don't heard people do this in the club, and I'm like, it just don't sound right. It's like, why? Yeah, fire. yeah. Then when I did it, and I was like, oh yeah, this it. It's fire. This it's it right fire. Here. Wow. So where'd you shoot that? Well, recording wise. Um, I recorded that in Palm Bay. Um, with my boy uh City. Wow. Uh, yeah. If y'all know my boy City, man, get at my boy City, man. Washington, Maine, man, get at my boy. That's what's up. That's what's up. Shout out to you. Wow. So. Yeah. As far as making music here, so are you from Brevard? Yeah, I'm from Tidesville. Okay, ain't okay. Yeah, shout from out to Tidesville. Tidesville. How was it like growing up here? Um, Growing up in Tidesville, mm-hmm. you got your good and your bad days. So it's like, you know, you could wake up, feel good, fresh air, everybody chilling. You right. can wake up. And it's wars on our side. Something, something, something just going to happen. You Damn. never know. Damn. Yes, I mean it's cool, but right, right. You know, but everybody just they have their own interpretation of how the hood is and how Tidesville is. Right. Okay. Understandable. That's usually like, you know, kind of like everywhere yeah, you go. Right. Yeah. Understandable. Understandable. As far as the music scene, how do you feel Brevard County is infiltrated in the industry? Uh, well, as far as the industry, right. Um. Cause we got we got we got what they looking for, right? Like it's too much talent here, right? Like for, sure. for for that's just for one, and it's like when you got artists like Burger right. who opened the door for us. You got people like Melly who opened the door for us. Mm-hmm. You got people like Cole G who opened the door for us mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So it's like, you know, um, cause like my 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 legends like like Drill and Zed and all them people and. They they kind of showed me like oh, you can you can walk into the industry as long as you stay consistent and you right. know what you're doing. Right. It's just all about the timing. Right. Totally. So it's like we we can impact the industry. It's just we just gotta come together. I mean, if we come together. We'll we'll make a mark. Mm-hmm. Tidesville will be on the map. Brevard County will be on the map. 
So what pushes you to make music? Um, well, of course I got a daughter. So oh, shout yeah, out to the baby girl. Yeah, I got my baby girl. Um, but it's just, I ain't never felt like I was supposed to be one of them people that just work. You know. But you're still working when you're in the music. I mean, yeah, but it don't feel like work. You're like, the you're the actual business. Yeah, yeah. like when I it's, look at it myself, it just right. be like, okay, it depends on me, on how far I'm gonna get with this. Right. Not nobody telling me, oh, I need you here from this time to this time. Right. Right. And I give you a check for being here. What I think you deserve. Woo, woo. Mm-hmm. Nah, I ain't never been like that. I always been like, how can I make my next dollar? Right. What right. can I do? Like, what's my next move? Like. If I see somebody else doing some stuff, I need to do the opposite. What are they doing? Because I don't want to get caught up in their way because I want my own way. Mm-hmm. So it's like, how can I, or what can I do to to get to that next level? For sure. Whether it's music or I'm doing other stuff. It's just, how can I get to the next level? How can right. I make that extra um? Mm, makes sense, makes sense. Yeah. What artist inspired you growing up or even now to this day? Um... No cap. I'm an old school. Like, I'm an old head when it comes to, like, listening to music. Because I don't like that. new rappers like that. Like, the new rappers out. So, I'm like, I listen to, like, Nas yes. and, like, Tupac okay. and, like, Biggie, hey. Bone Thug. Hey. Uh, I was listening to, like, the Hot Boys when they first came right. out. Like, right. before they was, like, making, the like, the big music that they was making. Um, OGs, the yeah, originals. the the original OGs. Like I was listening to Master P. Yeah, I used to listen to a lot of old people. Yeah, and the, like they words of how they said stuff back in the day is mm-hmm. kind of what made us say what we say now. So mm-hmm. it's like whatever they said now is what we was all they were saying like back in the day. So they were just like bringing it back. So right, I just right. like listen to them and then I don't know. It's just they energy was different. For sure. Like the energy now. Even even in the atmosphere, the energy now is totally different. Oh, yeah. Like you can't even walk in the room with no, no rap or nothing yeah. like that without they sizing you up or something like that. Back in the day, it was like, oh, you make money too? <laughs> oh, well, it's all love in here. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's it ain't like that no more. Yeah. Nowadays, it's... It's yeah, a mess. It it's is, a mess. Now, nah, everybody got a beef. Everybody got a For sure. For sure. So, where do you see yourself taking music for you? Like, where do you want it to go? Um... No cap. I I just feel like, because I love music, so it's always mm-hmm. going to be a place in my heart for music, mm-hmm. but I know I'm going to outgrow music. For sure. Because I'm never going to be content with one thing. Right. So it's like, I'll be doing music, and then next thing you know, my artist will be, you know what I'm saying? And that's a business move. Yeah, he'll be the next person to take over, and I'm just going to sit back, and I just want to observe and learn the business right. and right. know the business for real, because... Rap is not supposed to be something. It's a career, mm-hmm. understanding, like that it is a career, but it's not going to be my only career. Right. It's an opening. To yeah. Get so yourself out there. I say like a couple years from now. Okay. You'll okay. probably see me on your TV. Yes. I ain't gonna even say a couple years from now. I I'll give you a couple, couple months. Right. Hey. Couple months. I'll be on your TV somewhere and been uh, made this possible and then Facts. be right back here doing another interview Facts. talking about what i'm finna do next let's get it that's what's up what do you describe as the type of music you make because hmm. i did like last time we had this conversation with somebody asking me this me and daughter was looking at each other like <laughs> like what we go call like what we what we call like what, how we rap because everybody be like man that shit different like it okay. is it's a different, so, but it's a vibe, and it's it's it moves. So you know? my energy, my energy gives mm-hmm. off into my music. So it's like whatever I feel at that moment is what you're gonna get because I have to express myself. So I call it to be honest, and you can people can say what they want. I just call it like diary rap, like. You never know what kind of emotion you're gonna get out of it. So you say diary rap? Yeah, like diary rap. Like Damn. I be jotting down, like just Damn. giving my own emotion. Because I like it could be a day I could be talking about two people in a relationship. Facts. And somebody don't want a label in that relationship, like on some dirt stuff. Another day I could be talking about You go talk about two people in your relationship. Yeah. Gosh. 
I could, Have I you could. ever been in a relationship with two other people? Mm. Uh, 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 are we going to open this door right now? <laughs> I just want to um, know. We want to know. In my old, yeah, in my younger years, yeah. Younger years. Yeah, I was, I was tripping. Yesterday you were younger than today. Yeah, but I was, I was a little bit wiser than I was. Oh, or are you wiser now than you were? Right. Okay. I'm a little, I get wiser by the day, but. Okay, okay. I said like a few years ago, yeah, I tried it. And now. How, how was it? What was the challenge? Time. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't. You it, can't balance it. Like, Dang, that's yeah. real. Like. Cheating is a sport. Yeah, <laughs> I I don't know how people look at cheating, but cheating is a sport because you gotta you gotta balance time with somebody. Because after a while, when they start to like you, you be like, man, he spent an awfully lot of time over here. <laughs> so what is he doing? So I, you know, what I'm saying the yeah. time part really. It's an like, investment. Oh man, <laughs> when I figured out a relationship is really an investment. Yeah. That's when I started taking it seriously. Right. I'm like, oh, right, right. you'll cheat on me. Nah, I don't nah, like that. Nah, nah. This is number one employee here. Oh, yeah. So yeah. that's why I had to, like, I had to get older, understand, like, okay, right. yeah, I can't get mad if you're doing certain stuff because I did it. Yeah, for so, sure. For sure. For it sure. Is. For sure. As I said, it is what it is. That's why I just strictly get my head on the right. If it ain't one, then it's nothing. Facts. Facts. So, what's something that you want people to know about you, at, at least about the message you put in your music um it's the trenches man it's trenches. it's it's real it's like it's like what you see every day and what you afraid to talk about mm -mm. like you and your dog is getting into it one of your dogs don't take care of his kids you you afraid to tell your dog that he don't take care of his kids because he probably known for like putting fire on people or something like that damn i don't care you gonna put it out there? Yeah. Let him know. I mean, I'm yes. not gonna put your name because I don't feel like I feel right. like that's snitching. Like, but man to man, you would go. Yeah, to man him, to man, right? I'm gonna let you. Even if it wasn't on music, man to man, I'm gonna let you know to your face like that's not real. That's like right. that's not that's not of a man. That's right. not real. That's so you gotta be king. like, yeah, you gotta you gotta play a role. Like you gotta practice what you preach. So right. it's like, I just want them to feel it. Like right. I want you to envision it. For like sure. when you go home and you lay down and you listen to my music and you be like, or if you working out, you listen to my music, you be like. Damn. Right. I remember being there. For like, sure. In my hood, it's something like that, though. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So it just, yeah. I just want them to see the message that I'm really bringing. Mm -hmm. Like, look past the image, look past the, what you see in the mirror of me or whatever, and listen to what I'm saying. Right. Like, it's more than just the beat. Facts. Okay. You know, you're doing your music here in Titusville. You know, what was next? What, after. What inspired you? At what age did you start getting involved in music? Oh, oh that's easy. Yeah. Um, I had started, like, legit, like, freestyling. Mm -hmm. Like, legit, like, word for word. Got it together. Pasta, run. Cat in the Hat, Dr. Mm -hmm. Seuss. Nah, it was, it was beyond Cat in the Hat. Oh, okay. It was, like, <laughs> nine. Oh. And if I'm not mistaken... I think I was a little older when Lil Wayne and the Drop 3 came out. Mm. I think we was in like, I think I was like late elementary, early middle school. I think. I don't know if I'm saying this right. But I used to be at my cousin's house. And if anybody know this in Titusville, I'm going to call it, I was in G Street. So um, the whole time that I was really... um. I was really rapping, rapping. I was at my cousin's spot, and he had me in a room, like, by myself. And I was, like, in there playing the game nonchalantly. Uh -huh. And, like, I think it was somebody having a party or something. And all I hear was, like, Lil Wayne and Drop 3 playing in the background. My favorite song came on. It was Upgrade You. Hey. I'm listening to it. I go to rapping. Hey, and I'm not noticing, like, I notice when people walk by and then, like, somebody just walked by and he stayed there. So I paid him no mind, like, I don't see you. And then, like, other people start coming up. And then girls start coming up. And he's like, this little boy is rapping, like, word for word, like, his own words. And it's, <laughs> it's going together. And it sounds hard. Like, hey. And then from there, it was just. Wow. 
I had people want to be like, I want to give you a rat name. I want to give you a rat name. And I was like, one, <laughs> <laughs> this is me and I'm a rapper. And they was like, nah, you're beyond a rapper, bro. Wow. You might be the ticket. Like, you never know. Like, wow. if you're nine years old and you rap like this. So, then when I got older, it was just like, they got better. So, do you write poetry? Ever um, about it? I did. Is that weird to ask? No. Okay. And which is which is crazy because I used to be a nerd. What makes you think that you used to? Nah, be? I used to be a nerd. Oh, no, you're not anymore. Nah. <laughs> like so I used to you? be kind of, kind of soft spoken, kind of all about my schoolwork, kind of okay, okay. like not into people, right, and stuff like that. And I don't know, it just stuff started happening when I get older. Like stuff I couldn't control, stuff like feelings, emotions, and how I took people and how they took me and stuff like that. And it was like, I was like this the whole time. Everybody else was out here just like for themselves. I'm I'm out here caring for everybody else. So what changed? Um, Family issues. Majority family issues. Uh, Cause I can get rid of friends. I cut people off easy. I don't really care to have a friend cause I don't really know you. <laughs> so it's like, it's cool to like let a person go if I don't know you because I, I, I can build a bond and I can break the bond. Right, right. But with family, it's feel like no matter what, I still got to come to the table to see right. you. At right. some point, I still got to see you. And It's humbling. It's like. It is, but at a certain time, it's like. Well, I don't, sometimes humbling don't mean like. It yeah. Could, it, could, it could take your pride. <laughs> it's like, it's, I mean, you know, it but makes you put your ego aside too. Like, like my, like my granddaddy always told me, it take a man to put away their pride. Right. So, like, it's just weird, you know? Right. Just like with them, it just made me be like, okay. Mm-hmm. The people that I really care about, I mean, if y'all gonna act like this, then that's cool. So imagine anyone else that doesn't care. You know they don't care. Exactly. So I don't have to second guess nobody. Yeah. And like I don't have to care for your intentions because it could be here and then it could be gone. Right, for sure. But I'm not no mean person. So I'm not like to the point where like, oh, I'm just going to cut you off because you done said something stupid or something like that. It just, over time, I watch people. Like I'm very observant. I don't ever let nobody get too close. And then I'd be like, but you weird. Like, <laughs> why is you wearing me? Damn, damn. I mean, it it happens. I don't have I don't have it all. That I ain't sense. never. I ain't never really because I ain't. Only reason I think I never really been to prison or nothing like that is because I never really indulged in doing no dirt with no friends. Oh, smart. Because I feel like they gonna tell on you. I mean, I never think your family gonna tell on you, but then when I figured it out, it's like, oh yeah, oh, I gotta be by myself. <laughs> You never know what's gonna go on. Like somebody damn. can be like, "Oh, but I seen CJ over here. He was doing something he had no business." Oh, damn! damn. I go to jail. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's true. Cause like it was a time period I used to like get mad at my grandma. Like you see me in places, like you be like, "Oh, I seen CJ." Da, da, da. Hey, 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 hey! Don't be telling people you seen me. <laughs> I don't want people to know I'm here. Like I'm damn. oxygen, baby. Like they see me one time, they don't see me the next. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real though. Damn, you just gotta be careful no matter yeah. what. Family or not. Yeah, family or not. Like, I, I, bro, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I take loyalty over love any day. Wow. If you would be loyal to me, and like I ain't gotta question you, I ain't gotta question what you gonna do. Right. But I don't care how much you love me. I take that for anything. Damn. I take that for anything. Cause I, yeah, you I, could love yeah. somebody else tomorrow. Facts. You did your thing, right? And then boom. So, what age was that that you started to? I was about. What did you do? What What was that move? Um, I was like, I was about eighteen. Okay, so what did you do? When I jumped out, uh, and I and I came home, and like I kind of got back adapted to what was everything, what was outside, mm-hmm. and like my folks that I was with, like he introduced me to a studio and a dude who record me and shit like that. So I was just like, he came to me. He was like, bruh. Man, I ain't finna bring you in my studio, bro. If you can't rap, bro, everybody say they can rap, bro. What yeah. you got to write something? I say what? Record me, bro. Oh. Don't 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 want any beat you want. Record me. I just went in there and I just started rapping. And he was like, Oh, oh. 
Oh, you, oh boy, you, oh boy, you five, boy, you got it. I'm like, just like, it should just regular. Yeah, sometimes it's like that. Yeah, yeah. So what made you, whatever, what helped you build that confidence to execute? Like I said, I'm a nerd. So anything I get into, I dissect it. Right. So when I, when I rap, I know this shit that people don't notice. Mm -hmm. Like, so for instance, when I went through a phase where everybody was cursing, Mm-hmm. It was a curse word in every one of my lines. Damn. And then I figured out, like, you know, there is other words that you can right. use. And right. so when I started doing that, I just started understanding, like, okay, now that I know how to do this and place my words in the right places, let's see if I can create a, your own style. Right. So once you do come out, people can't label you like, oh, he's a Dirk, or oh, he's a future, right. or he's a this, he's a that. He's CJ the God. Right. And you'll know that every time you hear him. Because he's not going to sound like everybody else. Okay, okay. You were 18 when you got to Atlanta. Yeah. How was it? Because obviously you were here in Florida and Brevard at that. <laughs> Titusville. Oh, well, up I until got, 18. I had got... Okay, so... <laughs> funny thing about Atlanta. I moved to Atlanta when I was... uh When I first moved to Atlanta. I was like 14. Mm-hmm. And I had got kicked out of regular school because I missed too many days of school because I would leave the school campus. And when I leave the school campus, everybody knew what I was going to do. Which? I was going to get some money. (laughs) Get that money, Oh, yeah, like, I was smoking before everybody. I was doing everything for everybody that was in my class. So everybody who was doing something, they was like, bro, we, 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 man, I'm over here in over here in another city, right. hang it out. Right. I'll be back, and then I come back, and I meet everybody for lunch, and then I leave. Well, it caught up with me when I moved to Atlanta, because it was like, if I don't go to school, somebody going to jail. Mm. It had to be either me or somebody that I love, and it wasn't going to be them. Right. So I went. When I got out, Atlanta was like, I seen the rugged Atlanta. I didn't see the glit, the glamour. I didn't see none of that. I was in there with. I ain't never been locked. I ain't listen. I ain't never been locked down before in my life. I ain't never been to the point where I could never go home. That was the first time I could never go home. Damn. So I got what raw was, what what they was doing for real. All them people that was doing that for real. So I adapted. Everybody really kind of fucked with me, and they were just like. Oh, you real, bro? You ain't never kill nobody. You ain't trying to claim nothing. You ain't. You ain't trying to be this, that, and the third. And everybody just kind of like was adapting to me. So from that point, I started rapping. And then like when they heard me rap, they was like, "Oh yeah, we fuck with him. We fuck with him." And then I didn't think that you know when you locked up with somebody or you talking to somebody and you going through it or whatever it was with somebody, y'all build a bond. Cause when I got out, they met me when I got out. I got people all in Westside now. I got people all in California now that push my music with other people. And that helps the connection. Yeah, it helped me tremendously. For sure, for Tremendously. Sure. And I just, like, I still click tight with some of them to this day. Like, I love all them niggas. Like, they're like my brothers for real. Them the people that I'd be like, oh, yeah, if anything go down, I'll call them because them them family for real. Because right, I, right. We, I done been through stuff with them inside of them. Because... Lord knows it was weird. <laughs> it was weird, but they like family to me. Right, right. That's good though. You know, having that connection to people that really was another chapter too to keep you in that Yeah. Understanding to know like, you know, I went through this phase and that phase it keep Fact. you grounded. Fact. You know. So that's great. That's great. So what's an artist you like to collab with? Who I got a few, but my top. Yeah. You gonna say my 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 top? Let's say your top top two or three. Ooh, okay, okay, <laughs> this easy, this easy. So my top 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 top, yeah. Andre three thousand. Okay, okay. That man, that man, some. Oh my god. I rock with that. The goat. For sure. Quoted the For goat. Sure. The goat, y'all. The goat. Um, number two. Mhm. Future. Okay. I always told myself if Future ever dropped the torch, I want to be the person he passed it to. Oh. So. Okay. I'm a big fan of Future. Uh, 
And then you know it, like from who I started with, Lil Wayne. Hey. I don't care how old Wayne get. Wayne can always get a feature. Like yes. I pay that. If, if I ever get in that, and yeah, we, I got the money, and my people good, your people good with it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I always get a verse from Wayne. Wow. Legend. So, what's one of your favorite Andre 3000 verses? Oh my. <laughs> um, recently I ain't gonna lie, cause I think the older he get, the better he get. Where? Because he said some, um, he was like, uh, summer, a uh, summer 88, I maybe 89, I maybe winter time, I'll never mind. And it's like how he was talking to me, it was like, yeah. oh my God. But my favorite song by him right now is Prototype. Ooh, for sure. Cause that, that Dang. man, that man said some stuff and yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, so yeah. Back a few times. Yeah, a couple yeah, times. Yeah. Dang, I rock with that. Yeah. Now I did overhear you say something about like uh CeeLo Green sounds like Andre Three Thousand. He does. I ain't gonna need a lot of y'all, man. But didn't Andre Three Thousand come out? He did after C-Lo. He did. So um I paid attention to the Dungeon family for a, a while. Okay. Like I've been a fan of them for a while. Um yeah, CeeLo Green did come out mm-hmm. before him and uh I ain't gonna lie, he did pave the way, but I feel like Andre just came out and he expressed it a lot differently. Like it came out, and then like when CeeLo Green came out later on, that's when it felt like he opened it up. Cause Crazy was dope, right? Like, okay, you can't take that from him. That's right. dope for you to make some uh, a song called "F You." Right. That's dope, but it's like I feel like you you saved all those hits. Right, right, for sure. And you or know, he didn't like really push himself. Just, uh, it, I mean, your name holds weight as yeah. it is. So if you would have just dropped something right now, yeah. the the world's gonna pick it up, For sure. and they're gonna be like, "Oh my God, CeeLo Green just went crazy." Yeah, because like no cap, you cannot say the album that Hey Y'all was on. You're not gonna tell me that album wasn't supposed to do what it was supposed to do. Yeah, that, you know that man went in there and. Just, I'm an Outcast fan. So. Yeah, he went in there and got in his bag for real. Yeah, well, Andre 3000. Is, oof. He got it. He, I feel like, no cap. If Andre, if you're seeing this, brother, I feel like you went in there, you grabbed the best yeah. weed you could, <laughs> and you made some history in there. Like, for real, for real. You made some history in there. It for was sure. dope. That was a dope album. Damn. Same the Big Boy. It for was sure. a dope album. For dope sure. album. For sure, for sure. So, you have some projects coming up. Yes. You got actually you're into filming. Oh yes, yes. Ooh. You yes. gotta tell me what's up. What's the move? Um first and foremost, we all ball March twenty sixth. And whose film is this? Who is this? Um, this is my boy Donnie. Uh okay. if you wanna look him up, everybody go look him up. Instagram, uh the real funny Donnie. Yes. He is everywhere. He Shout this out man to is Don, he's the doing real. his thing. I ain't even gonna lie. That yes. man bless. Um yeah, he uh he was somebody that I met, and we've been cool for a while. Mm-hmm. Um, and he was just like, you know, bro, I got a, I got a little show that I'm trying to put together, and I need I need a real little knucklehead that got some street to him, and yeah. da 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 da. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> I do it. You know, it's nothing because yeah. I I feel like you know anybody could be the next Fifty Cent or something Facts. like that. So when I started, it was like, what's your name gonna be, Jimmy Streets? Hey. And when I heard when I when I read about the character, I was like, Oh yeah, this my this this me. This, <laughs> this the old school me. This knucklehead yes. me. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't as reckless as he was, mm-hmm. like just killing people, but right, right. I was I was I was a knucklehead. Right, right. So like I don't know, it just it was something new. Uh to be honest. It was something new. Mm-hmm. And I like it because it's training me to understand the difference between, you know, just doing a music video mm-hmm. and actually doing something like real. Right. So it's it's, it's, it's very, putting very up, new. Putting your creativity to yeah. the next level, making a full legit project. That's awesome. That's dope. I look forward to that. So when is that coming out? That uh, We are ball March 26th, man. Ooh, March 26th. That's like very, very soon. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right wow. around the corner. Oh, that's exciting so that yeah. premieres here in brevard um yeah that premiere is going to be in brevard it's going to be in melbourne i think it's going to be at the um the amc theater yes yeah. that's exciting yeah wow. sold out already I, sold out I, I feel like we're doing pretty good man. yo 
first 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 thing I heard right now in Bavara that sold out other than somebody rapping. Facts. Wow. Just claiming it right now. That's that's giving me chills. Like wow, yeah, and that's yeah. that's opening doors for you because you can you open up avenues and practicing on other things than yeah. you know. So like you said, it open up for even music videos. Exactly, it helps you build up storylines and so forth, and people can see your work. So exactly, that's awesome. Thank you, thank that's you. That's beautiful. So some what type of music are you coming out with or projects um, so forth? I got a project that's coming out in the summer, uh, Die of a Trench, uh, Die of a Trench God. Oh. So um, I just want everybody to just tap into this. This is going to be one of those projects that um, I kind of took my time with. Because everybody found, like, I don't I don't know how many people that have been asking me, bro, when you going to drop some more music? I have not fell off, y'all. I got a lot of music. It's just I got stuff that I got to get into play right now. So I got a, a project that's, it's definitely gonna drop. This one is is kind of like putting my putting my whole life into a, a, a song, a body of work for y'all. So it's like basically understanding who I am. I'm breaking down situations. I'm breaking down who I am as a person, uh, my emotions, uh, and just stuff that I see, just day to day things. So if you ever hear anything and you feel it's about you, you know, don't don't hesitate to reach out to me because you know it, it make me feel. Like I'm doing the right thing because I'm giving everybody a voice. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm trying to do what everybody's supposed to be doing. So I just feel like this mixtape or this album or this tape, whatever y'all want to call it, is going to be something that I take very, 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 very serious. And it's very, very special. So it's going to be dope. No cap. I really, I really enjoy hearing you speak. Thank you. You're thank very you. inspirational, and I can tell, you know, any upcoming or inspiring artists that want to tap in, I feel like they would definitely, you know, rock with you yeah. and can understand, you know. I mean, I'm 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 with anybody who, yeah. you know what I'm saying? If you not on no, no funny stuff and you, you really about your business, bro, tap in. I don't, I don't, I don't text nobody. I'm, I'm, a, I'm very, very humble. Mm -hmm. I stay out the way. I don't never get into it. Nobody. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like it's really that deep, mm -hmm. unless it's about my money or my family. So, I mean, if you, if you got a level here and you really about your business, tap in. What's that message you want to leave behind <clears throat> so that people know, you know, or an advice that you want to leave, or an advice that was given to you? What's a, a message that? Don't stop. Don't 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 stop the grind. Whatever you do, I don't care if you work, scam, selling by grams, whatever. I don't care how you get your money. I don't care how you make a day. If you know you gotta eat, you know you got kids, you know you got a family that's starving. Don't stop grinding, cause the better day is gonna come. Right. It doesn't matter if you down a day, up tomorrow. Keep grinding. Keep grinding like you broke. Don't never stay content to this stuff. So, um, another thing, uh, stay humble because you never know who you're going to run into. You never know what hand to open the door for you, what, what, what hand to feed your family. So, just stay humble. Before we close it out, you do have music videos coming out, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I do want to tap on that. On, I want to know who's on. directed by and so forth. I want to hear. So, uh, I ain't going to lie. Everybody been asking me, so. Uh, my director right now, and we're going to stick with him right now. I got another uh, cameraman that's coming with me one day. Uh, we're going to tap in one day. But in some of your films, if y'all not with in some of your mm -hmm. films, I don't know what y'all doing. Go tap in my new video right now, 95 Soldier, man. 95 Boys right now. We we got a whole little movie to that right now. It's going crazy. I got another video that's going to pop out on you all real, real soon. So. Yeah, I just Is he also behind then. the movie as well? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's fresh. Yeah. That's fresh. Yeah. I love that. I love that. I love that. I so, love that. So you really into the film. You, oh, yeah, you really yeah, yeah. Entertainment oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Me and Dada now. I ain't going to lie. Um, I've been. I've and been, tell me about Dada. Who's oh. Dada? <clears throat> so Dada is my, I ain't even going to lie. He my business partner slash artist. I can't even call him my artist because, like, <laughs> you can't never, you can't never let your brother work for you. You gotta let your brother eat with you, so that's uh that's like my brother. So it's like that boy, that boy everywhere I go, that boy support even when nobody do support. So that's family. So he decided, you know, 
brother, I wanna, I wanna do this. I believe in you, so. I love it. You know, we got them right. Everything good. His paperwork finna come back good. Everything yeah. straight. So we, we definitely finna use bro and have bro do his thing. And anytime you know, bro wanna get a little fame or whatever he wanna do, he gon' he gon' he gon' rock out. You know what I'm saying? I got my little nigga on stand, but my little nigga right now he in the studio right now, down there every day. So hey. y'all already know what's going on. And then I ain't even gonna let y'all know about this motherfucking video, man. Hey. Well, I saw y'all niggas you better be ready for that. It's gonna be like a movie to y'all, man. Y'all gonna wanna play this back to back. Hey. Your little fling come to the crib or woo 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 woo. Y'all gonna wanna <laughs> run into it. Oh, I know them. You know what I'm saying? This this gonna be that. Get your you know popcorn. what I mean? Yeah. Hey. It's gonna be that. I I'm ain't even gonna that. cap down. So where to can you. they find you? Where can they tap in? I'm on every platform. I ain't even gonna say it to you. Like I'm on every platform. Mm -hmm. That means Apple Music. YouTube, Spotify, SoundCloud, uh, iTunes, wherever you go out to look for music. CJ the God. C E E J A Y T H A G O D. Hey. I love it. Well, I'm so thankful that you came in and blessed us here at Amped Up Live. It. I appreciate you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad you're here. And keep, you know, grinding and make sure whenever you drop, just. Anything you release, hit us up. You I know, got you. I got you. Support you. Tag us and all that good stuff. I got you. Yes.